What's up, Lorehounds? It's Cooper here. I'm with Jeremy Monroe, the general manager for North America for Wargaming.net. So we're talking World of Tanks right now. You guys announced uh, Patch 8.0, which is the biggest update you guys have done to this point. Yeah, it is. There's a lot of really exciting stuff coming into that patch. Um, the biggest and most exciting thing is we're completely changing the physics engine. So um, if you play tanks right now, um, you'll notice that if two tanks are, are, are driving, they crash into each other, there's kind of a big thud, and then there's no give. Um, or if you're leaning off a cliff and, you know, physic would say normally you would fall off that cliff, but right now you don't. So those things are changing to where um, obviously the bigger, batter tank is going gonna, is gonna to have momentum and take on that lighter tank and push it aside or even flip it over or something like that. Um, and when you flip, you die in tanks. Um, it depends on how much armor and health you have. But if you're flipped over, obviously you're pretty... You're Sitting like, duck at least. Done. So... Um, yeah, there, there's a lot of strategy that's going to change with this patch and the physics. So we're very excited about that. We're excited to see what, what a lot of the competitive players do with that, how that changes strategies. Uh, because right now, a, a lot of people will use the fact that you can't move some of the objects and block a bridge or block a lane or do things like that. But now, that's not, that's not really going to hold up as much as it did before. So um, that's going to be a really cool component for us. Um, on top of the physics, we're also changing the lighting. Uh, we're also changing the water and um, uh, the, there's a couple of other components with the tanks. We've got um, adaptive camo. So right now, if you, if you have camo on the tank, and let's say it's snow camo, and then you go into a foresty area, you still have your snow camo on. But now, if you, if you have snow and you have forest kind of all lined up, whatever you go into, the camo will change based on the, the scene that you've gone into. So um, there's that part of the adaptive camo. And then right now the camo doesn't do anything except for uh, be a visual, mm -hmm. uh, but it's now going to play a role in, in concealing the tank a little bit. And that's more. because of the new lighting and shadow system that you guys are adding, that the camo is actually more functional? Uh, not necessarily correlated to that. It's just that you're wearing camo now, so now you're a little bit more uh, difficult to detect. So... So with the physics system, that's obviously a huge change to the game. How long have you guys been working on that? The physics system alone? Um, actually, when I... Geez, I've been hearing about it for over a year. And I know that we wanted to put it out a bit sooner. But um, we're, we're a bit of perfectionists. Guys want to get it right. And um, we just decided, look, it's not right yet. So let's delay it. Make sure that we implement it properly. And there were some concerns that um, because it's going to change the strategy of the game significantly, yeah. um, we wanted to make sure that we got it out there and tested it with a lot of the competitive clans and competitive players to make sure that, yeah, you know what, this is a this is definitely going to be a positive change, and it is. I mean, it's it's amazingly exciting to see what's happening in the game, what people are doing with it and to see it in action. And it's been uh, privately beta tested so far, right? Yeah. Uh, are you guys going to have a public beta before it goes live, or are you just going to launch with it? Well, it goes live at the end of the month, so um, there's a very short amount of time before it does. But there is, there is a super test out there, and there are people uh, testing it out right now. Um, I'd have to double check to make sure that whether or not that's open completely to the public, but um, there are a lot of people in there right now kind of knocking it around and making sure that it's ready for, for everybody. So version 8.0 for World of Tanks is coming out end of the month, end of September. Uh, you guys also recently announced kind of a, another expansion to this ever-growing line of yeah. World of Products for you guys. So you have uh, World of Tanks Generals. Yep. So that's actually going to be a collectible card game. It is. So World of Tanks Generals is our, is our, our CCG. Um, I should say our first one because, who knows, we might create a series there too. Um, and we're really excited about it. We... we there's actually a lot of heart in the company around CCGs, um, around board games. And um, I know even Victor himself, um, he and his brother were hardcore board gamers and CCG guys. And so um, it was always important to, to not only look at the other uh, models, successful models that are out there, but um, do something that everybody really has a strong affinity for. So uh, really looking forward to World of Tanks Generals, very much based on what you see in World of Tanks right now. Uh, so huge collection of tanks and cards. Um, I think right now we're, we're sitting at about 110 cards. Um, when, it, when it gets shown a little bit broader, there'll be about 130 to 150. And then the goal is somewhere about 200 and 220 cards. So a lot of it's only about halfway there right now? Yeah, basically. And um, it, if you played some of the other CCGs, it, it's going to feel and look similar. But it's also going to feel and look very familiar to World of Tanks. So a lot of the same strategies, uh, the same tank types, light, medium, heavy. SPGs, tank destroyers, uh, you're going to, same nations, booster cards, 
uh, to help, you know, do a little special attack or something like that. But um, similar strategy, you know, you're going to have to get your tanks out there, uncover the enemy, uncover their base, and then start taking them out. So as a simulation strategy company, did you guys actually go out and find someone to design the card game, or was this mostly done in-house? It's done in-house. So we, we, um, we've got an amazing group of guys. Um, uh, what a lot of people don't know, it's a lot of physicists, a lot of applied mathematicians, um, a lot of people, just really brainiac people. When you think of that kind of stereotypical Russian mindset and intelligence, it's all there in the game. It's in the designers and the producers and definitely in the developers. So yeah, we, we found some folks that were close to the family and we said, why don't we do this? It's an interesting concept to expand your brand further. And it's also your first step into kind of the mobile aspect because it's anything with a browser, right? It is. So the World of Tanks Generals is built in HTML5. So any device that can essentially support HTML5 is going to be able to play on it. That's fantastic. So we're going to be able to play it all over the place. And is it, are we expecting quick battles out of these things? Is it like a 15-minute kind of gameplay, or can it be kind of crazy long? We're, st we're still playing with that, but the, the idea is that kind of sticking to that mobile concept that it is a little bit quicker. Um, it's something that you do maybe when you're sitting on the, on the train or, um, you know, you have a little bit of break at work or something like that. Or, you know, look at I want 10, 15 minutes of, of good, solid gameplay, and you can jump in and play a quick battle. It's pretty cool. So uh, with Wargaming, you guys are expanding and uh, an incredible amount, but you also announced uh, over at E3 a new system, so it's like a core user yeah. system. Yeah. Um, to that end, and I'm sure that the CCG is going to also use it, are you guys looking to cross-pollinate with like earning XP for your tanks from generals? It's a good question. We're still, we're still working on that system, refining it. The, the goal is to be able to do that, of course. Um, what you're alluding to is something that we've been talking about for a long time. That's the Wargaming.net service. Mm -hmm. So that's unifying the login, that's unifying the, the, the account, that's unifying uh, sometime in the future the worlds as well. So we want that to be a obviously a very engaging, compelling experience, but it's merged together. So um, yeah, definitely the direction. So World of Tanks update 8, version 8, yeah. biggest thing to date. We got new shadows uh, and lighting system, yeah. and most importantly, the phys physics, so now you can push other tanks out of your way and do some damage that way. Yep. And then we also have uh, World of Tanks Generals. When are we expecting that to come out? TBD. TBD. Sometime in 2012. Right. Oh, so we, this year is a possibility? Oh, I'm sorry, next year. Ah, sorry. Almost out. <laughs> All right, thanks so much. Thank you.